Hey guys, it's Marissa. I have a crazy story for you as you can see by this. I was perfectly fine when I went to bed the night before and I woke up and I had like a fist size abscess and cellulitis on this arm obviously and I spent all day in the hospital. I had to have it drained like while I was awake which was terrifying. Although the lidocaine shots to numb it hurt the most, but like literally I was had my arm over a tub and I was just like this and while well, she was like cutting me with a knife <laughs> and I could like feel her like rinse out like the cavity once she got all the, the abscess out. So that was great. <laughs> and my mom and I are joking. We're like, of course it would happen on the day that we were planning to have fun, right? And then a crazy thing too is I applied to be in the audience for um, the new show, Georgie and Mandy's First Marriage. And I actually got a freaking ticket for the 17th, but I obviously can't go because I have to go to the hospital to take out the packing that's in here, which... Also, that really freaks me out. I don't know if you guys know what packing is, but it's essentially like this time they used something that kind of looked like gauze and they just like rolled it up and like packed it in the open wound instead of stitching it up. And so then two days from now, they'll pull out the packing and if it looks good, they'll like leave it open to heal, which, oh. But I may need more packing, so another ER visit coming soon. And I'm like, only this would happen to me. Like, someone on my TikTok was like, are you sure you didn't shoot up or something? And I'm like, are you kidding me? Would I be this depressed if I... No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but for real, I only have one arm now. <laughs> and it feels so good not to be in pain on this side. My mom was like, it's such a sad statement when you can say that your arm feels better having a cut in it and packing material in it than it did before because it was like so red and so like this. <laughs> so red and so swollen. And yup, so that's my crazy story. And for some reason, the... CT tech who took a CT of my arm he said his daughter had an abscess and he told her to take a bleach bath which I'm not recommending that as professional medical advice but I don't think I'm gonna do that either that would hurt like heck but I don't know if you guys know but I have had an abscess before when I had my reduction surgery and it happened like two months after my reduction, which was also really crazy, but that one was way worse. That one I had to be transferred hospitals for, and I had to be knocked out, thank the Lord. <laughs> and I had like a cut like from here, like all the way over here. And so that was crazy. And it also took like two months of different packing materials being like put in me and going to wound care every week, doing oxygen chain therapy or whatever they call it, you know, every week. And I would go in and they would like, you know, without any numbing medicine, they would just take a scalpel and like cut off the edges of the wound. And so I would be like jumping off the table like every week. This was like two years ago. I never told anyone I got a reduction, but I did. And I, I'm really glad that I did, but I wish I had chosen a better surgeon, obviously. So, yep, that's what they look like now. But before they were like so big, I could only wear sports bras. And it was hurting my back and my neck. And... I remember when my mom took me home from the surgery, I went like this and I was like, oh my God, I can put my arms in front of me. So yeah, if you're thinking about getting a reduction, get one, but do your research and only do it for you too. Don't do it for a guy or 
and don't take any guys' considerations into the decision either. I've had so many guys tell me I ruined my body by getting a reduction and stuff, and I'm like, I don't care. Like, if you don't love me for me, then that's just the way it is. I have to live in my body my whole life, and I would prefer to be a normal size. <laughs> And fitting clothes. So yeah, that's my story of my two abscesses. My first abscess though after the reduction was so severe it went all the way down to my rib cage, which was crazy. So yeah, it was so deep. So with this one, I'm like, I got this. Like it's nowhere near as deep, nowhere near as wide. So praying and hoping that things work out and just spreading awareness that cellulitis can come from anything. It doesn't have to come from surgery. It can literally come from a blocked hair follicle. It can come from a bug bite, a scratch, anything. So I am definitely going to be keeping like cleanliness up through the roof. Not that I was dirty before, but I'm going to be like obsessively cleaning like everything. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, informational video. And please pray for my arm, it hurts. <laughs> Bye guys, have a good day.